Hello, I'm back again about a year and a bit later down the track. I was nearly 50 in my last video and I just turned 51 this week. So yeah, lots happened in that time. I've had a hysterectomy and I've had to come back from all that and continue skating, but I'm really still loving it. But I thought I'd give an update because I've bought another pair of skates. I know, I'm addicted. I went with the Kaya, um, I think they're called the premium skates in the red. Um, I just felt, as I said, I still love my Moxies. Um, they're, they're just, I just find there's not enough padding in them. I think that, I think I've worked out what I've done wrong. I should have bought a pair, a size too big, so I could put more um, padding in the bottom. But there's nothing wrong with the padding in the shoe itself, but it's the sole. You, you, you just feel, even with the gummy wheels on, I just feel all the bumpy road, bumpy car park stones and everything it's just not comfortable to ride on so i've kind of made these my skates i just practice dance skating on i've put some fame wheels on them which are a bit harder so i'm still work in progress with that but um they've kind of been relegated to the back seat a little bit i still love my purple kaya evils these are still going great and that's what really made me make the decision to go with the, per the premiums i wanted a pair to everyday wear at the rink which i have the moxie glow wheels on and then um, a pair for, that was set up for outdoors so I didn't have to keep changing the wheels. So yeah, still loving those, they're, they're fantastic. Um, they just have so much stiffness in the, in the boot and that's, you know, for a reasonable price. I'm not paying, a, you know, $1,200 for a pair of Moxie Jacks or something. These are enough for me. I'm never, I'm never gonna be a park skater. I'm not really interested in that. Um, the Kaya's were different because, I don't know if you can see, but, the top of them there's like a it sort of dips down and i was a little bit unsure whether that would sort of stop any stability for me but actually it's helped me because when you're outside and i do the staggered stance i'm able to lean my leg down really into that groove and but still have all the stiffness of the boot so really impressed with these um padding on the inside is lovely it's just like memory foam so it's a little bit different than the purple ones but um the purple ones are more um padded the whole boot whereas these have sort of i don't know if you can see um specific areas where there's padding and it, it, it's so comfortable to wear they're real like like it's like feels like soft suede or something like it's really lovely and the um the sole on both the kais is is sufficiently padded that i feel comfortable um, getting outdoors and I'm really trying to be better outdoors I was quite scared and nervous and scared of falling and but these are giving me so much more confidence and I for three years I've been tackling a couple of car parks that I own with two of my shops and they're really I found them very challenging but the, since I've had these red kayas um, I've just spent two hours in my really rough car park um, uh, just it's like Pebble Creek out there it's so rough and I'm able to successfully managed that i've had a really good skate session just now these red ones they come with these purple uh these oops don't fall off kaya mellow 78a wheels which are, are great that i've really found them great but you can see there's not much where the roads kind of hit them there's not much surface area on the ground so they've found them really good on a smoother surface but when it comes to the um the pebbles it's it's as if how can i explain it i didn't have enough wheel hitting the ground to give me the momentum to keep um rolling and i found the, the extra push i had to give to get going kind of made me unstable but that's just maybe a me thing but they certainly um rode the rough ground pretty well so i have used these but i've just changed today out to the moxie gummies and i was much more successful today in those so my my three skates that my three main ones are for three different um types of skating I suppose and I think finally I've got the right combination for me um yeah so I just thought I'd just give you a bit of a update on on that and and just a bit of a you know run run around on this skate because there's not much on the internet about them the plate's aluminium so it's quite a nice um, quality plate and the others are great too they're the nylon plates on the other ones the not plastic but it's a it's a type of a strengthened plastic I did change out the cushions on both on all of my skates I go for the softer cushions I can get so I think these ones I think were actually 85 
a, and I think there was a softer one, but it was purple, so I wanted it to match the skate, so I went with them. And that made a big difference. The cushions are big for me. If you if you feel it's too rough or um, even if you've changed your wheels and you're still not feeling it's a comfortable ride, look at your cushions. They're, they're, um, that's a, that was a game changer for me. Um, I'll try and add a video of me skating on them today if I can work out how to do that. But other than that, um, yeah, go on. If my personal preference, I probably would have been fine just with the Kai's, the Moxies. Yeah, I said to the skate shop, I have a love-hate relationship with them. But um, anyway, they, they're, they're in my collection and I'm still, I spent so much money on them, I'm still going to use them. So that's my review. See you later.